ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joseph Novichko, Senior Trading Manager with GDM. Today's outlook, firstly, we're starting with the markets in Asia. They finished mostly higher on the final trading day of the week, reversing some of the losses made in the previous session. As investors weighed the price increase in China and the possibility of US uh, interest rate hike later this year can also weigh on prices. In Japan, the Nikkei 225 index closed up about 82 points or half a percent at 16,856.37. Hong Kong's Hang Seng index added about a percent by later afternoon trade, while Chinese mainland markets reversed some of their earlier losses to close rather mixed. The benchmark over there, the Shanghai Composite, finished up about 2.40 points or one tenth of a percent at 3063.73 while the Shenzhen composite fell about two and a half points or about one tenth of a percent to 2046.76. The dollar rose on Friday on track for a weekly gain through shy of this week's high, as of course investors awaited the US retail sales data and remarks from the Federal Reserve officials that could cement expectations of a US interest rate hike this year. Against the yen, the dollar added about three tenths of a percent to 104.03, shy off its overnight highs of 104.60 yen, which was its strongest level since late July. It was up about 1.1 percent for the week. European stocks were higher on morning trade on Friday after stronger than uh, anticipated inflation data from China helped to calm nerves over global growth prospects. The pan-European stock 600 index was up about 0.88%, with all major bourses looking in positive territory. The euros uh, ad added about uh, three tenths of a percent to 1.1024, heading back toward its overnight lows of 1.0980. That was its lowest level since late July. It was down about 1.6% as we look in for the week. Sterling was little changed at 1.22 and looks set for another loss of 1.9% of the week in a volatile week as we mentioned it was in which moved back towards the previous week's 31 year low. Gold prices edged lower in the commodity sector on Friday as stocks firmed and US dollar rose on expectations that Federal Reserve would raise interest rates later this year. As we're looking at the price right now down one tenth of a percent at 52. Uh, sorry, at 12.56 announced in late Asian session, the metal was on track to end the year mostly flat. As today in the calendar, we have very important news. U.S. retail sales at 12.30, Reuters Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index at 1400 and at 17.30, the long-awaited Fed Chair Yellen speech. That's all of the most important for today. Keep an eye on all of these major events. Stay tuned. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.